What you are seeing here are two windows. One on the left is the Windows command prompt. This area gives us the ability to look at the file system without having to rely on the graphical user interface, which is that nice pretty graphical window that you see there on the right. When I started the command prompt, it took me directly to my user account on this computer. When I click on the address bar in the graphical window, you can see that the path shown in the command prompt is the same as that shown in the graphical window on the right. To see everything in the command prompt that I do in the window on the right, then I need to go to the command prompt on the left here and type a command to show me what's in that directory and I type dir which stands for directory and then I press enter and it shows me the contents of the folder that you see here exactly the same as you see here on the right. In the command prompt all of the folders are represented by the less than symbol which is followed by the capital letters dir and then followed by the greater than symbol. Everything that's listed as a DIR is a directory or, if you will, a folder. Now I'll open the documents window on the left using the CD command. I want to see if I can see the contents of this folder here called documents and see if it is the same as the documents here. So I'll go ahead and open documents over here so you can see what we're going to see. And I'll come over here in the command prompt and I'm first going to clear the window and I will simply type DIR and then I'm going to change directory CD means change directory and I'll type documents and press enter and now what you can see are the list of folders and any files that I may have in the documents folder again I click on the address bar over here and you can see that I'm in C colon users gemfi documents and that's exactly what I see over here I'm in C colon users gemfi documents this is the path this is the path that I would have to follow in order to get to one of these folders now let's see if we can go a little bit deeper and I'll open the demo folder and here we have both folders and files so I'm going to come back over here to the command prompt and I'm going to clear the screen and I'm in the documents folder so I need to change directory to the demo folder and I want DIR to show me the list of everything in that folder so here we have it you can see the file called amendments.html there it is right there and we have constitution declaration and so on and we have a folder called docs here's that folder called docs but notice over here that it's called a directory now what you should have learned at this point is that there basically is no difference between a directory and a folder whenever Microsoft and Apple computers started coming up with icons to help us represent folders and files there simply is no good small image that represents a directory when people think of directories, they think of like telephone directories or maybe index cards in a, in a public library or something like that. So what kind of image would they use to represent a directory? Well, there is not any good image. There's no kind of good small icon to represent a directory. So what they did is said, well, let's just make it look like a folder. If we're going to call all of these files, then what we used to do in our filing cabinets is we used to take our files and put them inside of folders. And so let's just refer to these directories as folders and use an icon that looks like a file folder.